I really think this is one of the best and most informative shots I've ever done on this channel. Uh, no outside introduction today because it is about four degrees out there and I don't want to be out there, so I decided not to be. What I have here is the Typo Paint by Numbers kit in this design, which is uh, flowers. That is in French. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I don't speak French and I probably shouldn't speak French. But I have translated it and as far as I know, or as far as Google Translate is telling me, it translates to market flowers in full bloom. So, the Typo Paint by Numbers. Did I say it was a Typo Paint by Numbers? It's a Typo Paint by Numbers. I got it in a mystery box. It's not necessarily the design I would have chosen for myself, but I'll give it a go. So, we've got the canvas with the numbers on it, and then we've got what feels like not quite enough paint, to be honest. I feel like that's not enough paint. Sorry about the reflection there. And some brushes. So I'm just going to go straight in. Oops, hit my light. Never mind. I'm just going to go straight in. With a bit of ripping and tearing. So there's the paint. It's very little pots of paint, but maybe it is enough paint. I've never done a paint by numbers. I don't know how much paint I should have been expecting. So we'll get rid of this. Plastic. Get rid of this plastic, she said, because it's all going very smoothly. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, hit my light again. Get rid of that plastic. Take this. Take this off, yes. Take this off, yes. There we go. And there are my brushes. So I've got two brushes for this for this uh, kit. I've got... Oh, wait, they're sticky taped. I knew that. I was just seeing if you were paying attention. So I've got a fine, fine-ish point brush. Get that light maybe better on there, perhaps. Small little fine-ish point brush, and then a broader one. But I might be bringing out some of my own brushes because that's only two brushes, and maybe I need sixteen. You don't know me. So I'm going to go and set up and get started on this. It looks very fiddly. You can see there how fiddly it looks. Little tiny spaces that need paint in them. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, let's uh, let's go and do. I don't think I'm going to be able to, this is very fine down here, look. That's very fine, and this is, oops, hit my tripod. This is the finest brush, so I might need to get it, break out some of the really little brushes and see what I can do.
So, no, no to that, not finishing that, no, no thank you, uh, no. Uh, I'll tell you for why, but if you're after a quick review, that was pretty much it, no. The tiny little gaps and bits to fill in with, too fiddly, way too fiddly. And I know there's people who would look at that and go, that looks like fun, I'd love to have a go on that, and more power to you, I don't have the patience for it. I think it's starting to rain, so we'll try and keep this brief, although I do have trouble with that. So, basically when I was painting in this background, I was trying to go around the letters, a little bit closer for you, uh, and then I realised I could just paint over the top, because I know what colour the letters are supposed to be. And then I thought, well, maybe I should have just done that over the whole canvas, but then I wouldn't be able to see some of the numbers, so that wouldn't have worked. Um, the lines between the petals, you can't really tell, but I did paint those petals pretty much individually to try and give them some shape, and they just look like paint splops. So, paint by numbers, I'm not going to say it's not for me, I'd like to have another go with a better kit, with a better design. I feel like this design was made for colouring books, for pencils, markers, things with a really fine point that you can get into that little fiddly bit. Because even if I'd done the background, you can see some of the fiddly bits in there, but even if I'd done the whole background to avoid doing those fiddly bits, there are so many other, the middles of the flowers, I mean that's a mess. Is it in shot? Yeah. That is a mess. So it's a mess, and the lines don't come through enough to be an outline, so you can't see the individual petals, or in areas like this where there's two colours, the same colour next to each other, it all just blurs into one big blob. Um, yeah, didn't love it. Didn't love it, wasn't relaxing. I think paint by numbers could be relaxing though, and that's why I'd like to try it again with a proper design. And I saw a comment on an Instagram post about, you know, why would you paint someone else's design? But really, if you think about it, crafters do that all the time. I didn't design the cross stitch I'm doing. I didn't design the diamond painting kit that I did. I didn't design the dress that I'm gonna make, you know. So doing somebody else's design isn't really like a, a negative thing. It's part of the crafting world, it's part of the kit world. And I can really see how it would be relaxing and fun. This one wasn't. And maybe it's just that I didn't like the design in the first place. So I'm gonna see if I can track down a design that I do like. It will probably have a frog on it and try it again with a different kit. But this, absolutely not. Um, I had an okay time with the purple. The pink was a bit annoying because I was trying to get all the little fiddly bits. With the purple I went, well I just won't worry about that. I'll just, the paint will go wherever it goes. I've got a photograph of this one up here to show you the tiny little gaps to fill, or the tiny little areas to fill compared with the smallest brush they give you. So I dug out one of my smaller brushes. It's very windy and I'm hoping that that's sounding okay. But we've done weather on this channel before and it's all been fine. So I'll just speak up. So yeah, I'll show you that photo uh, so that you can see how small the areas are compared to the tiny little brush that they give you, which is not tiny enough. Had to get my own tiny little brush and even that wasn't really small enough. So. Yeah, I'm calling this one a bust. I'm going to paint this canvas white and use it for something else. I'm going to put some primer on it. It'll be exciting. It won't be, you know, I'll use it for something else that might not even be better than this <laughs> because I'm not really a painter or an artist. But we'll see what I can come up with. But that's where I got to before I decided that life is short and I have other things to do with my time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you weren't holding out for the finished piece. You can probably look it up online and have a look at the graphic to see how it could have looked um, had I not been so impatient and found it so frustrating. You have a lovely rest of your week. I will see you uh, next week, probably. Uh, take care. I've run out of things to say. I've run out of steam and I'm going to go inside before it rains on me. Have a lovely week. See you soon. Bye.